Why is church important? Tara, pag-usapan natin. Check it out. Kung titignan natin ang history of Christianity from the biblical times to probably around 19th to 20th century, this question never crossed the minds of the believers because they knew and understood na importante ang church. However, in our century, this question is asked dahil maraming Christians ang hindi naniniwala na importante ito. Many have become coffee shop Christians, yung mga kontento na manood ng sermon online at mag-aral mag-isa. At sila din ang tinatawag na Lone Ranger Christians who live and exercise their faith on their own. But scripture shows us that the church is not only important but is definitely essential. Here are three reasons why it is necessary. Reason number one, it is where God wills His people to be. In Ephesians 2, familiar tires sa salvation ni God towards sinners laid down sa verses 1 through 10. But what we often forget is the next verses. After reminding the Gentiles of who they are before Christ, Paul tells them that in Christ they were brought near by His blood and have become fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God and joined together, grows into a holy temple in the Lord. This is the reason why church is important. It is because God has put us in it. All those who have been saved are to be part of the body of Christ where He is the head. If God wills it, we are to do and live it. Didn't Christ say that we are to be a city on a hill and not an individual? The second reason why church is important is because it is the means of God to dispense His grace. San ba normally preach ang gospel? It is in the church. The pastor who was called by God to shepherd his sheep proclaims God's word faithfully to sinners and through preaching, God grants faith to believers. Aside from the preaching of God's word, dito din na administer ang baptism and Lord's Supper. These two means of grace, when administered together with the word, strengthen the faith of the believers and reminds them of the assurance of their salvation, encouraging them to live for God all the more. God's grace is ordinarily given through these ordinary means. Reason number three, it is where believers are built up. In Ephesians 4, Paul tells them that Christ gave gifts to the church which are the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and teachers. At para saan? Sabi ni Paul sa verse 12, to equip the saints for the work of ministry for building up the body of Christ. It is in the church that believers learn how they are to contribute to the ministry through the gifts granted to them as Paul enumerates in Romans 12, 3 through 8 and 1 Corinthians 12. By doing so, believers are able to build up the church, the body of Christ. Believers are put in the church because this is where he learns how to live a holy life and be protected from falsehoods. Can you imagine a solo Christian growing in faith on his own? Can you imagine him building up the church by himself? Can you imagine a believer being protected from the attacks of the enemies and all its deceits? If you think you can live your Christian life on your own and find the church unnecessary, you probably do not understand the implications of the gospel and how great our sins are and the temptation of the world. Christ has saved you and I not to be on our own, but to be with His people to walk our pilgrimage in this fallen world, proclaiming the gospel of Christ.